Hey guys, Rob from Van Compass here, and today we're going to do a quick little install video on our 3023 Sprinter rear diff skid. Uh, we've been making this diff skid for a long time. It's made of quarter inch thick steel, and due to the popularity of SMB's new extended range fuel tanks, they recently made a modification to this to clear the SMB tank. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw this on real quick, show you how to do it. Super simple. Uh, we got the van in the air right now, but you can do this on the ground with just the floor jack. So just go ahead and position it centered on the axle tubes. You'll see, you can kind of see little marks on this van because this has been installed before. You want to get it up close. Now this, this oftentimes will be a bit of a gap here and don't stress about that. Just give it a little more pressure. And then once you install the U-bolts, it'll all get sucked up tight. You want to take note, careful, of the front engagement point here. It's kind of hard to see in the dark here, but make sure you don't damage the uh, the flange here on the front pinion yoke as you put it up, because it, it's it all is very it's a very snug, very close fit. So once you get it in place, next thing to do, grab a 10 millimeter wrench. This just makes installing the U-bolts a little easier. You're gonna to wanna to loosen this U-brake cable bracket. So just loosen it a little bit so that you get a little more room here to be able to sneak the U-bolt in right here. So just go up like that. The smaller 9 sixteenths, sorry, 3 8 U-bolts fit like that. That's why you loosen that up. One goes on each side. They go right next to where the tubes meet the centered, the cast center section. You want to use a washer and a nylock nut on each one. All this hardware is included. And then you just, you want to get all the U-bolts on and I like to just run the hardware up to hit the nylock. So make sure you get everything on before you tighten, before you tighten anything. And you wanna start all the hardware. And there's instructions included with this. All of our parts have instructions included. Be sure you reference the instructions for torques and the order in which you torque everything. So these two are in place. The last one is the big half inch U-bolt goes up here around the pinion goes right in there again be careful not to damage the pinion it's like a pinion seal shield so it's, it's, it's you'd have to really be not paying attention to hit that so just you know be a little mindful of that again washer and a nylock nut on these guys from the bottom these can be a little bit of a pain to get started just because they're, uh, you know, this skid plate, we designed the skid plate to be a, a smooth, flat bottom. So the nuts are recessed up into the skid. So you just wanna like, it's kinda hard to get, get those two started, but it's very doable. Just take your time, don't get frustrated. Two. Okay, all the hardware is started. Once it's started, I like to give it a little bump with pressure with like the floor jack. You know, nothing too crazy, but just to make sure it's seated. Sometimes these will like, just due to, very, due to some variations and also, you know, there's a lot of welding in the, that goes in this part. Sometimes you gotta kind of like, Give it a couple taps with a dead blow to get it really seated. This one fits perfectly. Usually they fit perfect, but every once in a while you'll have something like that. Grab the tool real quick. So, go ahead, snug everything up. Be careful. Like I'm going to use a nut driver here but be careful not to over tighten, especially the small ones. 
because the torque spec is light on these. It's only 15 foot pounds on those. So just get them close. U bolts, you always want to tighten evenly. Don't like just ramrod one home and then not because they'll, they'll stretch and it'll move. So try to do it evenly. Okay, those are snug. That's a 916 socket for these. It's a three quarter inch socket for the big one up front. Same deal. All you got to do now is torque them 15 foot pounds here 30 foot pounds there that's it our spinner rear diff skid helps protect their drive shaft u-joint up here at the pinion you can see this is fully protected also a common problem with the sprinter this stamped steel diff skid hangs below the cast center section and it'll peel back right here with the slightest little touch of, if you're in two track or something, just a little bit of dirt like hitting it, will peel it back, start leaking gear oil. So this, as you can see, protects it, smooth bottom. This is also a great jacking point now. And as you can also see, this new design clears the big 47 gallon SMD fuel tank. So if you have any other questions about this product, go on our website, vancompass.com, part number is 3023.